In Samplitude, a track can be assigned to record either audio or MIDI. This track is set to record audio. To record MIDI, you just click on the MIDI button so it turns blue and the monitoring for that track is also enabled. You'll notice that when monitoring is enabled, the speaker icon is highlighted also. Also, notice when I click on the MIDI button again, the MIDI panel closes and the audio panel opens. Clicking on In gives you a list of the MIDI inputs. I'm going to leave it set to Fireface 400 MIDI 1. You can also record enable the track from there if you wish and notice there is a shortcut Alt plus R as well. There's also a record enable button next to the speaker icon. Clicking on Out gives you the list of MIDI outputs if you are using an external MIDI module. Moving your mouse cursor over New Instrument will unfold a list of your virtual instruments. I'm going to begin by playing in some MIDI drums, so I'll go to Tune Track and select Superior Drummer. The instrument software routing will be simple audio and MIDI together on the same track. You can choose to load 16-bit samples, so I'm doing that to speed up the loading process. I'm using the superior sample set and I'm going to use the Sonor preset. Notice that the MIDI out slot has now turned red to show that a VSTi is loaded. It's also showing up in the plugin menu below. It takes a few seconds for the samples to load and in the meantime from the preset list I'll select MIDI GM Extended. This will help the drums map correctly in the Samplitude Drum Editor. Clicking on the cross hides the VSTi. To open it again, just right click on the red icon in the Track Editor or on the plugin slot. Left clicking on either of these will disable it.